<laughs> she kind of like them. Adam Sandler, this fit. Truly obsessed. I like wearing tracky sets so much. It's like my bum crack's gonna come out. <laughs> Literally just came out of the dermatologist appointment. I'm booking in my first treatment. It's 150 bloody dollars for one treatment. That's almost like four grand. Four thousand dollars to clear up my face. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys, Gymshark version obviously, and there's a few things that I haven't actually tried yet, so we're gonna try those on, I'm gonna give you my honest review, and I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite things that I've been loving at the moment. Some of them have been released, some of them will be to released, to be continued, will be released soon, and I will let you know, don't worry. <laughs> All right, I've had a big day. I'm like really tired, I, can't even do this. Can we just sit on the floor? That's better. Okay. Yes, that is my wardrobe. Let me fix that. Sorry about the mess. Obviously I'm wearing skims. Love skims. I love these bras. They're just amazing. I live in them. <sighs> I'm really tired and I'm sorry if I'm getting my words jumbled, but I don't know why, training took it out of me today. I feel like I'm like progressing little bits. But I tell you a fun fact, I feel like everyone thinks that I train every single day and I don't. I train, no, I can't believe it. I've only been doing gym twice a week. So Tuesday and Friday I do gym. I do like my full body gym, it's pretty big. Like there's a massive session I do. It usually takes me like an hour to two hours, like usually around the two hour mark it takes me because it just, takes so long it's so tedious just a lot of like I guess progressive rehab stuff that I've been putting in for my foot and my shoulder and I'm doing really well with my shoulder my foot's progressing very slowly but it's doing well at the moment it is a little bit sore now so I've got to tell my coach that anyway we're not going to talk about that we're going to talk about the good things but yeah literally I just do bike sessions whenever I feel like it but I don't want to like overload my bike sessions or anything because that can affect the way my foot feels and at the moment my priority is getting my foot good and healthy so I can start to run on it so I am just doing the prescribed gym sessions that I'm given under supervision so I can get everything right so yeah I'm only doing gym like twice a week which is just insane I feel like I feel like I need another hobby and you know what that hobby is I just slammed my foot so hard. I'll tell you the hobby that I'm gonna be doing, and that's horse riding. From like a young age, I've absolutely adored horses. I've asked for a horse, like literally every birthday, every Christmas, every special occasion, I've always wanted a horse. I've come from like a horsey sort of family. Um, my mum had horses, my dad had horses. We grew up, well they grew up in the country I lived there for like two years when I was like two and then came to the Gold Coast and lived here my whole life but um yeah that's why I want a horse it's just in my blood so I am messaging horse companies at the moment because I really just want to ride a horse and yeah if anyone has any recommendations or has horses please let me know because I love to ride horses and I want to get lessons and like get good at it because maybe that could be like my second hobby because I don't want gym to consume me, you know? I want something else. <laughs> but yeah, like, I need something that I can do that's not going to hurt my foot or my shoulder, so... <sighs> Struggles. All right, let's do this haul. Outfit of the day. Pants are from... I literally think these are from, like, a thrift store or, like, a chemist or something. They're, like, five bucks. And then this is my very expensive Skims bra. So it's a well-balanced outfit. Oh, M plus Peter Alexander slides. I've already worn this before, but it is amazing. And I love this bra. I just love like the design and everything of it. And then the back is very skinny mini, which I love. I've been seeing everybody wearing them at the moment. They like dip really low at the back. They look really good on most people. I feel like this could be concerning for me because my glutes and my legs are really big, but we will see if it works. I have not tried them on yet. So this is going to be first review with someone with chunky legs like me. 
All right, first reviews, guys. So these leggings like dip very low and it kind of feels like my bum crack's gonna come out. <laughs> like they feel pretty good. And I love this like material. Like this to me is like performance sort of material, but I don't believe this is performance material. This is more for looks in the gym and I reckon like back workouts, like with these, tell me what you think. I think they have like a navy blue in these as well. I don't think I could run in this, but you can keep the straps on these, but this is just sick. Like with this, I reckon looks so cool. Very stylish. I love it a lot. And it is really tight. Like I don't feel like it's going to drop, but like I can't really compare to people who actually have boobs because sadly I don't. So I'm sorry, but she looks beautiful. So I like. I feel like I'm just going a little bit crazy. <laughs> I actually kind of like them. They look cool. I thought that my thighs were going to be way too big for them. Like my thighs are touching like the side, my bum. But like, I feel like I would just wear these at home. Maybe not. But then I've just got to, you know, Adam Sandal of this fit. I look sick. I love it. <laughs> I think you could make this like top look really cool. All right, I feel like I'm like a basketball or something. Okay, what next? I honestly don't fit into any of the running shorts. Wish I did. My bum is too big at the moment, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Uh, it sucks, but at the moment, I don't fit into the running shorts. My bum is just a little bit too big and my thighs which is usually always the case. But yeah, not for long. I'm going on this like really extreme diet, which I feel like I should take you guys along with me soon. I don't know, it's gonna happen either next week or the week after, but I feel like I'm gonna be starving, but I've gotta lose like six kilos or eight kilos or something. Something drastic because bobsleigh is a weight sport and you need to be a combined weight with your partner, you and the sled. If you're over, then you get disqualified. So I don't want to get us disqualified because of my bum. <laughs> okay, this has literally been my favorite hoodie. I've only had it for like a week, but I've been wearing it like every single day. This blue is just so pretty. So, gosh, I look like a mess. So this one is the Lifting Essentials. And we got the girl on the back. I think it's a girl, is it a girl? <laughs> I don't even know. But this is a cute little tracky set. I can wear to the movie. I mean, yeah, to the movies, to the airport, at home, in the gym, out of the shops because I like wearing tracky sets so much. I've got a sneak peek for you guys. You cannot tell Gymshark that I'm showing you this. I believe it's coming out in October. I love it, so I'm gonna show you early. So just keep this outfit in mind. I love this blue. They also have lilac and black, and I think there may be a brown, I'm not too sure. But this blue is just so nice and just everything about it is so nice. I love all the detailing in all of the outfits. I love how tight and pushy it is. I have no boobs, but it makes me look like I have boobs. It's so tight and so thick, the material. I feel like I could almost run in this because it holds my glutes so well and like my legs so well and everything. I just feel like that it won't like drop or like ride up or ride down, if you know what I mean. Like I feel like I could actually like run in this like it doesn't feel like it's riding down at all because it is so secure honestly i love this i've been wearing this when i shouldn't be because it's not released but please get your hands on this when it comes out i absolutely love it 
I'm not going to tell you the name yet because I don't know if I can tell you. Just a special shout out to Whitney Simmons for taking over the Animal Adapt collection because it's unreal. And I am sorry, I need to like pan this down a little bit more. I'm literally obsessed. The Animal Adapt probably would have to be one of my favorite collections, plus that blue one, I just had one coming soon. But what's already out at the moment, Animal Adapt, this Animal Adapt Seamless Collection, or Animal Pattern, I'm sorry, I forgot, is stunning. And the way it feels, the way it fits is amazing. I love the shorts so much. I wear it all the time. You see them all the time in my videos, but it just holds my bum so well. Like, I feel like when it is seamless, you're not gonna get so much of a performance out of it, but I still feel like I can do some like really good gym in it. Um, not so mu much like running. I don't think I see myself running in it. I probably would be able to, but yeah. I just absolutely love it. it. Just holds your glutes so well. And I wear a small for all of my tops. Sometimes I go medium in my pants, but I've been going a small lately just so it can be really tight and hold everything in. I feel like I was going a medium for a while and like everything just felt like it was floppy and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, like it doesn't feel like it's too tight. And I was like, why am I getting a medium then? I might as well be getting a small and like, pulling myself in and like suffocating myself in, but it actually fits pretty well. So I just always go safe and go a little bit smaller just so I can just like, you know, squeeze myself in. And it feels like it's more of performance for me because then nothing's falling out. <laughs> also, I literally just got a package with all this new Gymshark stuff and there are some new colors coming out and they look gorgeous. So wait out for them. I cannot show you yet, but just wait for them. Okay, I've got like my favorite shorts back on. <laughs> They're actually just a good lounge around short. Cute. All right, that was a very quick, very mindful try on haul because I wanna try and fit enough into this YouTube without boring you guys, you know what I mean? So tomorrow, I don't know whether it's exciting or if it's a little bit scary, but I will be going to the skin doctor at lunchtime. Um, a dermatologist and if you know what I mean I've been suffering with like acne and bad skin I don't know it was like since I first started social media like it's just been so bad it's gone better but it's very up and down like there'll be like non-stop weeks and weeks of like really bad skin and then one week I'm like oh my gosh it's getting better like I don't need to like take anything like maybe it's just solving itself naturally and then bam it's like bad again so I've got makeup on at the moment I've covered my pimples up with concealer that's why it probably doesn't look as bad you can still bloody see it through the makeup but yeah I'm gonna just show them all of my photos I've tried everything I've tried little things but I believe they might be putting me on a Rakuten. And I wanna be so open about this. I know a lot of girls try and steer away from that. I tried to steer away from a Rakuten. I went to a naturopath. I tried the natural sort of cycle of stuff. I have tried creams, I've tried medication. I've tried healing my gut, which I will be doing with that diet that I'm gonna be doing. I'm doing a metabolic diet, which will be happening in the next few weeks, but I really just need to get this under control. And I've had this appointment booked for months. Like it's really hard to get into dermatologists, so I can't just not go. Um, so I'm gonna go, see what they say, and see if they put me on a recce tent. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'll try and take you guys with me. But yeah, we're gonna do that. And I will also vlog my journey of this metabolic diet, which I'm gonna probably cry every day on. And probably cry every day on a recce tent too. If anyone's had experience with a recce tent, can you please let me know? Because like, I'm quite petrified. I feel like there's lots of really bad side effects, which I'm not excited about, but that's okay. We'll get through it. It's only like a short term thing and I really hope that like I do it, it fixes it. I hope it doesn't come back like after you've done the, like I hear people like do the whole thing and then it like comes back. So yeah, it'll be right. But anyway, I love you guys and I will see you soon. Good morning guys. So 
I am going to the skin doctor today. I'm currently just doing some work, some emailing and everything to just get this day started. I don't know why, but I feel more productive on a Saturday rather than like a weekday, which is just, I don't know, it's getting very odd. Like I feel like I could just do all of my work on a Saturday, but then when it's a weekday, I'm just so unmotivated because like I think maybe that's because I train on those days and I'm very tired, even though I'm really training like twice a week. I am going to the skin doctor today, so I'm going to see the dermatologist about my skin. This is, it looks pretty good today, not gonna lie, and it's very smooth. I've only put like moisturizer on for them. Um, I've got like a massive pimple here, like right on my throat. I'm like, I don't want to touch it, it hurts so much. Anyway, I'm just gonna show them lots of old photos and videos of like the weeks and months before just to show what I've been going through the past couple of years and then hopefully they're going to find me a solution to fix this because it's annoying me so much <laughs> and it hurts like it's not the only thing that like looks bad but it really hurts which is the most annoying thing and it just feels gross so yeah we're gonna do that um but I'm gonna finish off some emails and then we will get going Okay, I literally just came out of the dermatologist appointment. It was like he was running on time and they literally got me in there, scanned my face and then gave me all of these information forms and referrals and stuff. Um, anyway, they were really good, but he went through all of the sort of options. Um, I didn't realize there was going to be more than one option. I thought that the one option was going to be... that one Iraqi tan and I was like going in going yeah like you're gonna put me on Iraqi tan like I just know it and he was like look there's another option um especially because you're an athlete and everything with the Iraqi tan there comes loads of like side effects and I was like yeah I know like my friends have sort of told me about it and everything and I've like read up about it but like tell me what it actually is and he was going through all of the side effects of Iraqi tan Iraqi tan, I don't even know how to say it. Let's go through it. Where is the side effects? Apparently the bad side effects. He says severe headaches with blurred vision, mood changes, depression, um, like eye cataract sort of vision impairments, high tone deafness, accelerated diffuse, oh, body changes, joint, your joints getting really bad and hurting, which was like red flag. Um, abnormal liver, liver function tests. So they have to do like blood tests for it. And then you get really dry. Um, like it's just disgusting. This whole thing. He's like, as an athlete, I would recommend you not doing it or going on a very, very small dose instead of like a high dose to get it done really fast. He's like, you'd have to do it over a longer period of time on a smaller dose um, to get it done because these side effects can happen, especially because you do a, like, you know, sport and you train a lot, you may get really bad side effects of joint pain. And I was like, oh, sir, can I please just butt in here? Um, I have real, real, real bad joints already. I've been suffering with this foot since I was 15. It hurts. The only reason I'm going to get overseas is if I figure out this joint pain and fix it. So if I'm making it worse with medication to fix all of this shit, I don't know. So anyway, um, I was like, oh, okay. That's a red flag for me, the joint pain. He's like, so there's another option, which I, by looking at your face, I would probably put you on. And I was like, okay, tell me more. And he's like, this one is laser. Now I have the form here. Okay, so this one is called Aviclair, which is that thing there. A guide to your acne treatment journey. And it looks like that. He goes, I don't recommend this. I don't even bring it up with most people, but I can just see it. He's like, because that's probably uh, like one of the most painful things, treatments. It is very, 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 very painful. And if you can't handle pain, I would not do this treatment. I was like, I'm not a pussy. I can do it. 
I don't know. Anyway, apparently it's excruciatingly painful. It's a laser treatment that goes all over your face. Jesus. But apparently you get no side effects with it. Like, cause it's just like treating the acne and he would treat mainly like my cheeks. Cause that's where I'm flaring up the most. He said he could do a bit of my forehead and stuff. That little one there. <laughs> um, but yeah. And he also gives me an anti-inflammatory, I mean, antibiotic to take during and uh i mean after the treatment so like a week after the treatment so that um my skin that's like inflamed and stuff settles down i don't know all anyway, right let's, let's just read this little pamphlet your guide to the avi clear avi clear uses the power of laser technology to safely and effectively eliminate inflammatory acne source so it uses a specific wavelength of light to target the production of oil by the skin without damaging the surrounding skin. After the treatment, oil production is reduced, thereby clearing up your skin and helping prevent future breakouts. Most patients see lasting clearance after 30 minute treatments. What to expect between your treatment sessions? Some redness and swelling. You may experience mild redness or swelling directly after the treatment, which resolves one hour, between one hour to several days after the treatment. That's a big, that's a big gap. 90% of patients showed visible improvement after six months after the final treatment session. Six months! And you know what they said to me? Because I went with... Okay, so I decided to go with this option, the laser treatment, because I was like, I'm not a bitch. I'm going to go with this treatment. Now, I'm going to be real with you guys. We're going to talk about Arakuten. I have been very scared to go on Arakuten because of all the side effects, but also... I just had a worry in my head because they say that if you do say get pregnant, um, it will cause like birth defects. It will cause stuff to your baby. Um, there's literally consent form. It can cause severe birth defects in an unborn baby. And like, obviously I don't want to get pregnant. I don't want to be pregnant anytime soon. That is not what is on my plan for the time being um but he was like you need to use like two forms of birth control and everything like that um yeah anyway it's kind of just scary i think that to me is very scary um coming from like my religion and everything like that if i was to fall pregnant i would have the baby personally that's um where i come from with that um so hearing that sort of like okay Maybe Arakutan isn't the best option for me. Um, I know I'm not going to fall pregnant anytime soon. But, yeah, it just, to me, it doesn't line up with my values and everything like that. So, it kind of scares me. Even though this scares me too because it just seems really painful. And very, very bloody expensive. So, he says it takes up to six months. He says you need a treatment each month and he's going to have a look at me a month after a month after my treatments um to see how i'm going i decided to go with the laser treatment i come out of the appointment and i go to the front desk i'm booking in my first treatment and she like <laughs> she goes okay so just very quietly she goes see that little number there so one treatment is 650 dollars AED. $650. 650 bloody dollars for one treatment. And I have to do six? How much is that? That's almost like four grand. Four thousand dollars to clear up my face and you just hope that it works and like long term if it comes back you have to do it again and like but he says that it's pretty good you probably need like a touch-up every year or something like that four thousand bloody dollars i could buy a car with that so yeah anyway <sighs> 
I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I booked in the appointment because I was like, I'll book it in just in case. I really just need to get this under control. I need it to go away. Um, but yeah. Fuck, they make it hard for us, I swear. Like, I don't know. It's just stupid. Anyway. I was like, maybe I just go on a Rocky 10. It's going to be a cheaper option. I can just take a pill every day and then it go away. But I don't know. Maybe this will help my skin completely. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very torn on whether to make this investment or not. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I've already booked in the sessions, so I'm going to have to take you guys along with me when I'm doing the sessions. If you want to see it but i will keep you up to date on my decision if i actually do it <laughs>